teeth and microbes. Now the teeth help us in chewing the food and it helps us to digest them also. So the teeth are acting like the mixer and grinder works for the food. You can use your teeth for biting, for chewing, for breaking down of food. So there are four groups of teeth. The first one are the incisors. These are helping to cut and bite the food. Next one are the canines that pierce and tear the food. Then we have premolars and molars that chew and grind the food completely so that it can be digested with our digestive system. Next we have the microorganisms that can be our friend as well as foe. So microorganisms can only be seen with the help of a microscope because they are too small to be seen with the naked eyes. They are also known as microbes. They are omnipresent that means they can be present in soil, they are present in water, they are present in air, even they live inside and on the living organisms. So they are always present everywhere. Microorganisms can be of five types that is bacteria, fungi, protozoa, algae and virus. So these are the five types of microorganisms or microbes as we say. Bacteria are the microbes or the microorganisms that can be of different sizes and different shapes. Bacteria are present in air, water, soil and everywhere. The diseases that are caused by bacteria can be typhoid and even tuberculosis.